surmounting not only algorithmic suppression and strangulation, but even a power cut that occurred, and most of you didn't even know it, because the indefatigable Garland Nixon stayed at the wicket alone for so long, he kept the show on the road, and I'll be forever grateful to him for that. Let's take a call from Norma in Bristol. Go ahead, Norma. Hello, George. Um, I just wanted to talk about the oath that was taken by King Charles to preserve the Protestant faith. Yes. Now, a few years ago, yes. you remember, he said he thought that it should be defender of the faith with S. And yeah, uh, yeah. Whatever that, happened? Whatever yeah. happened to that? Well, I mean, th things change, don't they? I mean, I think it's so daft that the monarch, if he wanted to marry a Catholic or a Muslim, that person would have to change the faith to be an Anglican, wouldn't they? And it's such a narrow. They have. Uh, I think uh, the the some there was one recent uh, marrying into the royal family, a girl. Uh, mm -hmm. who literally overnight changed from being a Roman Catholic to being a Protestant. Uh, yeah, but... And it's very odd considering that the upper reaches of the royal family is a nest of adulterous, lecherous, <laughs> yeah, in yeah. some cases criminal individuals. Yeah. There's yeah. hardly one of them that is not divorced. Uh, there's yeah. hardly one of them that has not been revealed to be an adulterous lech, and yet they're still upholding and pledging to go to the stake to defend the Protestant religion, well, which is not yeah. a religion, of course. It is a branch of the Christian religion. Why doesn't it say, I'm signing here an oath to defend Christianity? That would at least include all the Christians, though it would exclude the Buddhists, the Muslims, the Hindus, and the Jain and uh, the Jehovah's and so on, but at least it would involve all the Christians, at least I'd feel I had a part of that deal. What am I supposed to feel when in the articles of the state signed yesterday, the supremacy of the Protestant faith is now enshrined and signed for by Nicola Sturgeon and Alex Salmond at least Jeremy Corbyn refused to go. And there was no need for any of them to go. Nobody could have punished them for not going. They wouldn't have lost anything. But the Scottish nationalists, who sit on hundreds of thousands of Scottish Roman Catholic votes, signed on the dotted line. 